محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه عندما حملته حملت به أمه رأت في منامها she saw in her dream that a light was shot from her to Syria no vaginas were mentioned here absolutely not I challenge you to prove it the mic is yours a liar this is very easy I will prove in the front of the room who is the liar I will post the hadith and everybody can go to Google and they will get us the translation this is the hadith come to the mic and read it I'm giving you the official hadith now سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول إني عبد الله في أم الكتاب لخاتم النبيين وإن آدم لمنجدل في طينته وسأنبئكم بتأويل ذلك دعوة أبي إبراهيم وبشارة عيسى قومه ورؤيا أمي التي رأت أنه خرج منها نور أضاءت له قصور الشام she saw a light coming out of her lighted all the palaces of Damascus your mic and anyone can go to Google translation and you can translate you post the link click translate it from Arabic to English please and you will see who is the one is lying your mic Christian Prince Christian Prince you are now playing lies and games Minha Min Arabic means from Min now you're playing stupid Minha from her okay from her and uh, anyway from her through her whatever where does it say her vagina why can't it be from her mouth from her Uzama she was given birth where the you tell me the light came from where from her butt you tell me I have no problem if it's not from her vagina it is from where your mic and that's what I was waiting for ladies and gentlemen he's he read into the text her vagina did you just hear him say that now watch him he's gonna cut me off now watch this coward he's gonna red dot me Christian Prince be a man and let me finish my talk be a man don't cut me off be a man okay did you hear him guys say that from where else would it be except her vagina did you just hear him say that he is reading his crap and his lies into the text he is reading it okay and so uh, we heard him insisting that this is was a dream and it was not real uh, and I will show you now I have a surprise for him and especially when he watched the video uh, when he said it was a dream if we go to Ibn Kathir, this is tafsir.com as you see in the screen, this is an Islamic website not a Christian website 100% per, you know, Islamic, tafsir.com the book of Ibn Kathir, which means explanation even for the Quran this story is written there <coughs> and uh, uh, if we read it in here, we will see that uh, uh, in Ibn Kathir book is saying we should mention the hadith about the messenger what the messenger said when he was asked O messenger of Allah tell us about how your prophethood started he said I am the supplication of my father Ibrahim you are right the good news of Jesus see Muhammad is the good news of Jesus go and kill and uh, rape uh, this is the good news of Jesus the son of Mary and my mother so a light that radiate from her which eliminated or eliminated uh, the castles of Asham which means Syria so he was saying he insists that this is what a dream <coughs> uh, maybe uh, I don't want to accuse him to be a liar but maybe he's confused uh, when we read in Arabic you know Arabic word is very clear and and here we are reading translation and the translation even the translation is still as clear for me because uh, he's saying وَرَأَتْ أُمِّي كَأَنَّهُ خَرَجَ مِنْهَا نُورٌ أَضَاءَتْ لَهُ قُصُورُ الشَّامِ 
This is the Muslim translation. I'm not going to translate because if I translate, somebody will say to me, you see, he's lying. And my mother saw a light that radiated from her, which illuminated the castle of Asham, Syria. Guys, do you know what the distance between Syria and uh, Mecca? It's a, it's a very far, very far. Uh, like, uh, uh, I believe, uh, to go from Syria to uh, Mecca, uh, it's more far than going from Syria to London by airplane. Anyway, <coughs> so in here you don't see the Prophet of Islam. He's saying, "My mother, she saw in her dream," because if the Arabic word saying in her dream, the one who is translating this verse, he is a Muslim. He will say in her dream. He did not say in her dream. And you are seeing by yourself what he translate. This is not my translation. And listen, I have another surprise. We will go right now to Usama Abdullah website. And we will find we will find the same story we are talking about uh, uh, in here in his site. As you see this is his site, answeringchristianity.com the prophet he said we should mention the hadith about what the messenger of Allah said when he was asked you see it? O oh, messenger of Allah tell us about how your prophethood started he said, which means Muhammad is saying I am the supplication of my father Ibrahim he claimed to be from Ibrahim, which is false. Because, uh, you know, Ishmael, Ishmael had nothing to do with the Arab. And no one can ever say, even you see some Christians saying that, because uh, they don't want to study, really. Uh, uh, Ishmael, his mother is an Egyptian. His father, Abraham, he was living in Iraq, and he speak Aramaic, not Arabic. Anyway, like imagine, uh, you speak Aramaic, your son is an Egyptian, and he speak Arabic. Like imagine uh, uh, me, uh, I am an Arab, my wife is Chinese, but my son is Korean, or my son is uh, 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 African. It doesn't match. Anyway, so in here, Muhammad is saying, And my mother saw a light that radiated from her, which illuminated the castle of Asham, which means castles or palaces in Damascus, in Syria. And this is where? This is in his own website. The guy who is accusing me that it is a dream and he's saying to me, liar, liar, liar. In his website, the article is saying that. Not in my website. You see? So when Muslims, they, they lie, it's very easy to expose them. You know, there's one of two choices. Either he's a liar, as Muslims accuse him even in his site, you know, uh, uh, because he was, uh, you know, if you go to his site, you will see Muslims fighting each other there. Uh, or he's an ignorant. Claim to be, he knew what he's talking about. Now, to continue proving our point, that this is what the Prophet of Islam, he said, and, you know, by the way, guys, I have a question in here. Uh, his mother told him that. His mother told him that she saw that light. Actually, you will hear him when he, when he tried to read for you, saying, my mom told me, my mother told me uh, that she saw uh, a light. Uh, but the question is, Muhammad was six years old. Do you think six years old will remember what his mom told him, really? <laughs> this is too much belief. This is a big joke. Six month, uh, six years old, like... Uh, uh, he can talk, but it's just a little baby, come on. But anyway, this man, he's trying to, as you see, right away they ask him about his, you know, his prophethood. He attached himself to uh, Abraham. Then he said, I am the good news, the good news of Jesus. Which means in here, he's saying, I am a messenger of Jesus, which means Jesus is God. Because how you are a prophet and you are a, pro a messenger of a prophet. If Jesus is a prophet, prophet cannot send the prophet. So he is the good news of Jesus, which means he is the good news of God. Because good news only come from God. Mes messages is coming always from God, not from a man. Messages of God is coming from God to the man. 
not from a man to a, to a different man. If the sources of the good news is Jesus, it means Jesus is the God of Muhammad. But this is not our topic. So we proved easy that he was lying when he said it was a dream. In the top of that, if we go and read some of the Islamic uh, 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 sources, uh, you will see that Muhammad saying, the night I was del delivered, this is his delivery date, this is his delivery night, his mom she was giving delivery, it wasn't, she wasn't sleeping, H have you ever heard about a woman she is de giving delivery and she was asleep, <coughs> man, and she was giving the baby, <coughs> My mother saw a light that light the castles of Damascus. Do you see it? And this is where? This is Nur, Nur al Medina, Nur Medina website. You can go, all of you, you can read it. And by the way, you will see Muhammad, all of him is just about light. Muhammad have light in his, in his heart, his tongue, his hearing, his eyes, his eyesight. His left, his front, his back, his up, his his uh, below, even his below, there is a light. You know, there is a light is coming from his butt. The light of the prophet soul, chest, sinew, flesh, blood, even blood, in, even his blood had lights. Even his blood is shiny. So you know, like Muhammad, if you want to take an X-ray, they do not need to give him a shot uh, uh, for the X-ray machine. He is ready to go. In his skin, in his bones. They will say to me, it's a spiritual. This is not spiritual. This is not a spiritual. You see when, when they lie? A grave. So, all of him is about light. And in the top of that, he is saying in here, The night I was delivered, my mother saw a light. So, she was giving birth to Muhammad. She was not sleeping, she was not dreaming. And where? This is the website, you can go all of you and you can read it. And even his uncle, he said, that the day uh, Muhammad he, uh, was giving birth, a light, you know, went all the way to the horizon. So, uh, I think we, we showed you enough proofs. And this is from the same website, Nur Medina, but this is BDF file, so nobody can claim that uh, you know, we are changing the text, as you see. This is BDF file as it is, and this is the website. You know, all of you, you can go and read it, and you can enjoy uh, our proof exposing those who they lie to you, saying this was a dream. So let us move on and let us expose Muhammad that he was living in illusion. This guy, he was, he had a mental problem. He, you know, they claimed that he was under black magic, which means under Satan, which is a disaster. Like, you know, how this happened? How, how Satan is controlling Muhammad this way? But for me, I believe strongly that this man, Satan was controlling him, but at the same time, he had a mental problem. He see things made by Satan for him, like he's the kind who lie, but he believe in his lie. And if we ask any Muslim what what the date when the mother of Muhammad she died, they will say he was six years old. How six years old his mother told him that? How? How he remember it even? His mother told him, not she did not told someone else, no, she told him. And the funny too, if all this light is coming from Muhammad and his mother, she saw that light. How come his mother she did not believe in Allah? Because she died as a pagan, she's a kafir, and according to the Quran, she is a dirty woman as a dirty kafir. Because the Quran says in Surah Al-Ma'idah that al mushrikuna najis, those pagans are dirty. So Muhammad is a holy prophet from a dirty woman according to Quran. I'm not calling her names. Because every pagan, every kafir is dirty according to Quran. Let us follow, please, to expose more lies. And we will continue the debate. And by the way, we did not do any editing. We just split the video. We stopped the video to show you the proof. And we will continue as it is. We did not cut even one, one second from the video. Thank you. By the way, this was a dream. A dream. Okay? It didn't happen. It wasn't an actual thing. He said...
that the Prophet said that a light shot from that the people actually saw it. It was a reality. It wasn't a dream that it, it light came from his mother Vijana to Syria. He initially said that. That was his initial claim. Now he's backing down like a coward and saying, "Oh, you know, well, you know," <laughs> like he always cries. You know, it's it. You know, it. it what else would it be besides if it wasn't her vagina? Where else would it be? Oh, I'm sorry, that's not my problem, Mr. Prince. Where else would it be? It was from my butt. How about that? Okay, happy. Okay. Why are you reading it from her vagina? What right do you have to read it like this? And what right do you have to fool everybody from your flock, your your group, your people? Okay, and 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 from from your uh, from from everyone reading your website. What what right do you have to to lie to them like this? Okay, and it was a dream. It wasn't even a reality. So, Mr. Prince, you've been smoked. You're a liar. Okay, I've smoked you bad. You worship nothing. You rely on nothing. You want to run? We're not done. Answer me last question if you want to run. Before you run. Read this one and I challenge you to say this is not accurate. This is from Sahih al-Bukhari, your prophet saying Satan is sleep in your nose. I'm just proving one by one. If you want to run, you can run. Guys, Satan is sleep in the nose of Muslim. And he do pee in the ears of Muslims. And the hadith we showed you before, he take hair from the butt of Muslims. And this is in Sahih al-Bukhari. Is that true? Well, I challenge you to stay in here for the coming three hours. I challenge you not to leave. And I will prove that your prophet is a mentally sick man. Take the mic, sir, and answer us. Stay in sleep in the nose of Muslims. Do you think Muhammad is out of his brain at that time or he was under the control of Satan or you know he have a problem uh, uh, you know how to make lies like he, he think he can uh, fool those Bedouin because they are Bedouin they don't have education your mic uh, Mr. Prince again I'm glad I am so glad by the way I am so happy that you finally admitted that you're a liar about the vagina point okay I am so happy about that and uh, Absolutely not. Because you are the one is a liar. And there doesn't say a dream. You insist before that it was a saying a dream. And later you said, it says it from her. From her. Do you see in the hadith the word dream? Not exist. You are the one is a liar. And the proof, I am the one who posed the hadith for people to go to Google to translate what I post. And they can translate. Now answer me please. About Satan sleeping in your nose. Your mind. Now this this hadith, I, by the way, it said in Arabic, in her sleep, you are the coward and the liar. Even simple Arabic now you're twisting it. Simple Arabic, simple simple Arabic you are twisting. That's fine. The the the, the listeners will, will will determine that. Anyway, the the prophet, the Satan sleeping in your nose. The prophet peace be upon him said, if one yawns, okay, if if dirt comes out of your mouth, okay, and you don't cover your mouth, okay. Then, then, uh, then uh, Satan will enter your mouth. That is a symbolic. That is a symbolic uh, speech. That means you are throwing evil inside your mouth. You are, are hurting, harming people. Let me finish, please. Please let me finish. Let me speak my mind. You are harming people with your mouth. Okay. Excuse me. Whether you speak foul, whether you uh, whether you uh, you speak wrong on people intentionally, whether you yawn, sneeze, you hurt people. If you harm people from your mouth, Christian Prince, okay, you are allowing Satan to enter your mouth, okay, meaning that you are allowing Satan to control your mouth. That's what it means, okay. It's symbolic, but since you are a master of lies, okay, you have to what uh, pervert everything, and it doesn't surprise him since you're God Himself who cannot be tempted got tempted for 40 days. That's that's quite amazing, to be honest with you. The mic is yours. Prove to me that this is symbolic. And symbolic to what? Satan will sleep in your nose. It's symbolic. Explain to us it's symbolic. And from where you get it is symbolic, your mic. And you know what? How come when we told you about Satan playing with your butt hair, you do not say symbolic. Now it is symbolic. 
Okay, explain to us how simple it is. Your mic. 